Well, hi there. Welcome back to my channel. This is Janice. And if you're new here, hi. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I love it when you do. Today, I'm going to tell you what products I use to get this look. If you're interested to know what products I use to get this look, please keep watching. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. First thing I'm pulling out is, looks like a super shot shadow. It is. Okay. And the light color, it is in the color, uh, it's in the color tassel. I act you, baby. Okay, it's a four pan quad eyeshadow palette. Pretty colors, like a berries. Really, really pretty. This is on the mango. Oh, that's pretty. Mango is one of my very favorite fruits to eat. So I'll probably enjoy this. I love up lengthening mascara. It's the mascara. This one is when life gives you melons. Let's see. Watermelon. What is this? Fourth Ray Watermelon Face Polish. I never tried another Fourth Ray product that I can remember. Face Polish. This is a flat kabuki brush. I know I have not tried any other brushes. Oh, that's nice. Really nice, soft, with the bristles. And this one is, okay, it's a color stick. Oh, all right. And let's see what color it is in. It's, um, did it tell me? It's a matte, oh, it's called Coffee Shop. And it's a creamy matte. So, Soul Ray Brightening Eye Cream. It's a nice bottle jar eye cream already put eye cream on today didn't realize I was gonna get that nice and thick <laughs> it's kind of a golden color huh that's different and we got another thing from fourth ray called do it hydrating hydraulic mist Clear bottle. Okay. Next thing is Coco Loco. What is this? Oh, it's a lippy scrub. Oh, cool. I like some lippy scrubs. I have to use them. I got a few, but I can always use another one. Here it is. Okay, there you go. Let me see what it smells like. Mmm, kind of like a coconut smell. This is by the Bush Show. Oh, it's another lippy scrub. And decorated strawberry, so it's probably strawberry. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it up. So there's two lippy scrubs. What is this? It's called. Fresh Kiss. It's in the color Sidecar. I don't believe I've tried this formula at all. In fact, I know I haven't. I'll go ahead and swatch this. And it's nice and creamy. Blemish stickers. Fourth ray blemish stickers. One more thing, and it looks like an eyeshadow palette. It's pretty packaging. It looks like it'll be beautiful. I love these, this color. That's probably why I got that color lipstick. Flush like me. Ooh, it's like velvet and gold. Very beautiful. I don't 
remember seeing this. Mirror. And here are the colors. Do I have a plastic thing on first? Yeah, it's a pier, it's like a pier. So these are the colors. So it looks like that's what I'm gonna wear today. Okay. Um, that's what I got on my ColourPop mystery box. I'm gonna go and try some of these on and pop back on here and I'll tell you what I thought. Mm -hmm. I showed you the mystery box I got from ColourPop and most of the products I did use on my face. I didn't use all the products that I received because, well, I didn't need to. But I had to add in some other products, some favorites of mine. And I haven't done a favorites video ever. Well, I think I did a few years ago. But I need to start doing those. I think they look fun, don't you think? Are you interested in those? Favorites and fails? Uh, I don't have a whole lot of fails, but I have some. But uh, I have a lot of favorites. First off, what you see me using here was the lip lacquer from ColourPop. I didn't know if I liked this color or not. It's, it's called Fresh Kisses and it is a lip lacquer. I don't know exactly what that mean. I, like a, it's gloss, it's high shine. It's not really liquid lipstick because before I started to show you my final look. I had it on for about half an hour and it had settled in quite a bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I just freshened it up. Being I'm older, these dark colors do bleed up into my lines on my lips. So I did add a lip pencil to stop that. And the lip pencil I used was, let's get my little handy dandy, little makeup thing here. But something from Alan Mascar. I got this in one of my description boxes. And it is a lip crayon. And I got it in this color here. It matches the lipstick. Perfect, I think. So what color are you? Um, let's see. Lust. Perfect. And I do like the Alan Mascar products. I got quite a few of those. To plump up my lips while I was putting on my makeup, I used Viper from Nablia. It's a lip plumper. And I really like this. It does pucker them up even before I put my lipstick on. My lips, just from this formula, look shiny and bright. It did plump them up quite pretty. So I love this product. I got it in Nablia. Well, that gets you, I think. It's been a while, it's either BoxyCharm or Ipsy, one of the two. It doesn't matter nowadays. They're owned by Ipsy. And let's see what's next. Let me go to what I got on my... I'm not going to go over my skincare. I'm just going to go over to my primer. I use the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream Putty Primer. I love this. Really nice. Makes my skin nice and smooth. And... I used a very favorite of mine. I don't hear anyone ever talking about it. I don't know if they even still sell it, but it's by Stila. And it is, let's see, what are you? Hide and Chic Liquid Foundation. And I love this. And that's what I used. Oh, and I did use the brush I received in that mystery box by ColourPop. It's a kabuki brush and it worked really nice. Really nice. And I did use Real Techniques, a new beauty sponge that I noticed in the drugstore. It is a Miracle Air Blend sponge. It evenly, it evenly blends for a full natural coverage without extra shine. You do dampen it and you also can use it dry. And I noticed one thing when I did dampen it, it the water squeezed out really fast and it's, it's like quite dry even after I wet, wet it. So it's really different. It's real super light and porous. Very different. Um, the coverage with this is medium to full. It, it's a solution for uneven tone and texture. 
and it's a natural matte finish best used when dry oh okay well it, when you wet it it's like I mean really I can't even feel that sweat but I, I do like it so it gets to get used to it it does looks like I get I only use that once and it looks really dirty already but it washes up really quick it washes up really nice that's about the third time I've used it okay now I did use a ColourPop concealer that I had already I had it for a while and I went to use it in the doe foot spongy thing fell off I have quite a bit left it just popped right off I don't know why um, hmm. could have had it too long although it's not that old how old are you let's see it's probably well a good year I guess that is pretty old so I went ahead and used my Tarte Double Beauty um, extra creamy ultra creamy I should say under eye also because I wanted to brighten it up a little more than that I do like that but uh, I finding I really love this And here is my eye look. And results of the concealer and the foundation. And next, I do my eyes. Sometimes I do my eyes first, but this time I did that much so far. Or well, before I did my eyes, I put on some By Terry white powder. It's Hydrolonic Ultra Powder and I just put a little bit on my under eyes to help if I got any eyeshadow underneath my eyes which that helps it helps set it I don't really I don't bake I just put a little bit on and I set it and I use this palette I couldn't resist it this is so pretty and I love the colors this could be well used especially during the holidays I just can see me using this a lot during the holidays and I, let me show you what I used here. I used um, this one here, this one here, these two here, a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one, and this shimmer, and this shimmer. I used quite a bit of it. I just went crazy. That is the first top row. That's like one swipe in the pans. And one swipe in my arms. The lighter color doesn't really show up because it's practically in my, um, my arm. To the second row. They're nice and pigmented and very buttery. A little bit of spray here. One size spray, I got that. I ordered it in um, pop up shop from BoxyCharm. I'm enjoying it. Really gets the makeup off. It's nice for this, but it's also nice to get your makeup off your face. Of course, it's a makeup remover. Last real. These are so pretty. Oh, pigmentation there. Especially that last one just swiped. It has velvet. Huh. 
velvet one, it's called that last one right here. That's pretty. I'm still figuring out after all these years how to do swatching and tutorials and explaining about how the makeup I use. I want to start doing more than just unboxings. I'm getting bored. I like unboxing, but I'm really getting bored doing them. So I'm trying to teach myself how to do something different and I'm hoping you enjoy this. I'm a little rusty. Well, of course I'm rusty. I've never done this style before. And that I did use the color pop lip scrub on my lips before I put on the other stuff I just told you. I know, I'm out of sequence. Hey. <laughs> and I did spray down my face with a fourth ray dew because after I powdered and everything, which I'm out of sequence, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to get show you what I use. So this is going to be a long video if I try to keep in sequence. But this is what I use. And this is nice. I really like it a lot. Really nice. Uh -huh. I did use the color stick. Use it in my water lines, top and bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah, I am not a red girl, but I'm loving this. It is so comfortable. Really comfortable. It's not sticky at all. I did put eyeliner on my eyes. Of course, I forgot to grab that. It was a Remmel eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I'll just tell you what it was. I got it on a sale at um, Rite Aid. At the end cap, every now and then they throw a bunch of clearance makeup for like 75% off and I grabbed it and it's nice. I love it. I can't believe it didn't sell, but I love it. And I did try the mascara. I like the brush because it's not too big. It's rather small. You can put it on your bottom lashes without worrying about it. And it's not super, super wet, so I didn't make a mess on myself. And these are my lashes. I did curl my lashes and I did use a heating curling lash. I have a I have a lash curler that heats up. I have two of them actually. I'm trying both of them and see which I like best. That'll be in another video, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is nice. I'm very nice for every day. Let's see here. I have had a good hour. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, I mean it's not like real volumizing, but it's it's nice. Depends on what you like. I like all mascaras. Basically, depends on the look I'm going for. I don't know if you're like that or not. I don't always want tons of my mascara on. I just want a little bit. Especially when I burn. But uh, sometimes I want a whole bunch. It usually takes me two or three then. Sit over there. I try to remember that. Come over here, baby. I love that. Here, I'm gonna get the black one. They got a black pomerini. Hopefully it's still in stock. I haven't checked that website yet to see. And in case you're interested, I got that from Jeffree Star's pets on his website. He sells makeup and skincare and merch and also pet things. And I, I bought that. Is that all I used in that box? Yeah, I'll show you. I already showed you what was in what I got. So I didn't use the rest of the things that you've seen already in my part where I opened the box up and showed you what I got. But I'll just quickly go through the rest of the products I did use on my face. I used a Fenty matchstick bronzing stick and that is and you better take these off I can't see mocha really nice cool brown I use something from complex culture I got this in an ipsy it's a deluxe sample I love this love it love it what color are you in you are in sunbath yeah, it's nice, especially for my complexion. Uh, I use, I got this in my Ipsy bag um, last month, not this July, but June. And it's called, it's by 
Ace Beauté. It's called Blushed Up. And it's bright. Boy, you only need a little bit. When I first put it on, like, whoa, but I blended it out. It, I think it matches my look. Or matchy matchy today. Yeah, I like it a lot. So that was from that unboxing. And then Fenty Eyebrow Pencil. I got that. It's a four several months ago. I got it in soft brown, I believe. Yeah. I like it. It's got that little paddle brush on it. And then it's a small you call it small applicator which I like I have really thick eyebrows I pluck them I trim them I scissor them you name it so I don't need a whole lot of work on my eyebrows just just kind of shape them up my glasses seem to um, cover them most time but I do try to remember to do them I never used to do them at all of course I told you about the ColourPop concealer yeah, so I hope you um, enjoy this video, seeing what I used on my face to get this look. And let me know if you like this look. Do you like these types of colors on me? I like all colors. I'm like, I put on what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes I just want to be subtle. Uh, I want to be dark and smoky. Sometimes I want to be wild and crazy with yellows and blues. <laughs> this to me is very... um. Elegant. I do elegant today. Alrighty, one. I want to just remind you again to please subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. Hit that bell. Don't forget it. And share this video. Oh, and comment. Don't forget to comment. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much again. You have a wonderful day or evening or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Bye.